Hiram here. I've had some people asking me what I thought of the Four Dog Stove Bush Cooker LT series. Unfortunately, they're a little out of my price range, so I haven't been able to play with them lately, play with them at all. But Ninja K3K nicely offered to uh, lend me his, his kit to uh, do some tests and play with it. So that's what I have here today. This is his Bush kit. I'm sorry. Bush Cooker LT kit. Comes with a cozy. Not done by four. This is done by somebody else. Not the uh, four dog stove people. Frankly, between you and me. Not a nice cozy. Has a slit here for the handle to come out. Uh, you just lift the top out. And then you try to get the kit out. So, I don't know. First thing I did for uh, Ninja K3K was make them a decent cozy right here. Two piece. Kit fits in like that. Top fits in there like that. There you go. That's a cozy. It may weigh, I think it weighs uh, like 12 grams more than the other one. But for the ease of use, I think this will do better. So anyway, that's the cozy that I'll be sending back with them. This is his kit. These are, oh, where are my notes? This is a Snow Peak 900 pot with its lid. This didn't come with the stove. I think he bought this stuff separately as a total kit. I haven't played with these much either, so this will be interesting. But this is a 900. The stove fits inside there just like that. Real light titanium stove. Burner, I guess you'd call it. No, it would be a stove. If you, well, I can't hang on to anything. I don't know if you can see it. has fins in the bottom. has a chamber, inside chamber, outside wall. Air goes in, in through these holes. So it's almost like a uh, wood gas stove, but not quite because of the opening in the bottom. They say that this will work with alcohol, uh, hexamine, the espit, Coglin fuel tablets, and any biomass that you want to use. Wood, wood pellets charcoal, cardboard. So I'm going to be playing around with this, doing a couple of different tests with it. It also comes with a titanium windscreen, which when I do these tests outside, I'll show you this. Just clips together like so. Just like that. And he has pegs. It goes in through the bottom of the bush cooker and then holds the windscreen up like that. But today I don't need this to run. Comes with an alcohol pan. Now it says you can use alcohol with this and you can bring water to a boil, but I think that might be about as much as you can do. This pan doesn't hold much. I'll have to measure that sometimes just to see, but I've run a couple of burns on this. Uh, the thing I really think they're using it for is alcohol is being used for a fire starter. You put alcohol in this, put your wood in the bush cooker, light the alcohol, and then that lights your wood. But I like to have, to be able to use alcohol, as you've seen in my old videos, I like to use alcohol as something that can be used if it's raining and whatnot out. So, I did an earlier burn with this. I'll break to it here. Okay, here I have the Bush Cooker LT2 with alcohol in the alcohol pan, rather methanol. Light that. There we get your standard blue alcohol flame. Now when I put the Bush Cooker on it, see how you just have a rumbling flame there? Put this on, the fins in the bottom create a vortex just shooting up that alcohol flame. One thing I was concerned with was that the alcohol might be too low from the pot, but apparently 
the flames get up there. So this is what it looks like with the alcohol burner in it. Okay, so that showed you how the flames came up through here, how they, it, these fins on the bottom create a vortex. I, like I said, I was concerned that the distance between here to the bottom of the pot is quite, quite a distance. But this vortex thing just pulls that flame out, as you could see in the camera. What I'm going to do is fill this pan up with as much alcohol as I can. Which isn't a whole lot. There, that's right to the edge. Okay, I guess that's a good place. I have two cups of water here, currently setting at 58 degrees. Like that. Can you see the flames? Put the burner on there, the uh, bush cooker rather. Here's the two cups of water sitting at 58 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there goes the flame going, going. I think it's Gone. 343. 343. And the temperature only got up to 186. Hmm. I think that was about three quarters of an ounce of alcohol in the. Uh, yeah, that's not even that hot. Okay, that's a new one for me. I filled this up to the brim on this. It actually looks like it's a top to a can. I think it was about three quarters of an ounce. I'll measure it if there's more interest in this. Uh, filled it up with methanol. Put this on right away. The water was 58 degrees. The room temperature is 52. It ran out in 3 minutes and 43 seconds, bringing the two cups of water to only 186 degrees. Hmm. Like I said, after reading the literature and stuff that came with this, I don't really know if the alcohol in this is viable. I think it's used more as a fire starter for wood. In that case, it would probably be real good. Same way with the espit and the hexaman stuff. Uh, they keep saying about how using it as a fire starter, which I think that's kind of an expensive fire starter. I really thought this would bring it to a boil. I was pretty sure it said, yeah, three quarters of an ounce of alcohol should come to a boil in seven minutes. This ran out in 3.43, and there's no way I could have put more alcohol in this. It would have overflowed. Really wish that the uh, Trangia would fit in there, but no joy there. It's even a small Trangia is too big to fit in this, and there's no way to put it. I wonder what that would do. If it was put on there like that. I'm not sure how steady it would be. Just for grins. Let's see what this does. I really should stop this here, but I'm kind of curious. If I like that. Let this come to a bloom. Put this on top. Okay, the flames are coming through the grid. Let me get my other camera here. Okay, 
Now, here's the flames coming off the Trangia. Same kind of pattern. That's with these, uh, the Bush Cooker LT2 setting right on top of the Trangia. Getting a nice flame out of there. Okay, let's go back to the other camera. Okay, now don't try this at home. This is just me being an idiot and no reflection on the bush cooker. I just want to see what happens if I try to put the pot on there. Nah, it's a little too wobbly. Won't take it. Too bad, getting a decent flame out of there. Look at that. So, anyway, forget about the Trangia. Okay, I'll have to look back on this, see what went wrong, what I did wrong. But that was two cups of water starting at 58 degrees. Only got up to 186 degrees in 3 minutes and 43 seconds before this full pan of alcohol ran out. So that's the Ford Dog Bush Cooker LT2 that Ninja K3K lent me. I'll be doing some more tests with this. I'll be taking it out to the park and stuff and trying some wood in here. But this was the alcohol. I'll have to see if I can find maybe a bigger burner. Okay, so I thank Ninja K3K for the lent for lending me his gear. Oh, I should be doing some extra tests on this Snow Peak just to see what this is like compared to something like the Boy Scout pot. Anyway, I thank Ninja K3K. I thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Know you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin